Today, in 173 cities in the United States, there are actions like this. And looking at our legislators in Congress and seeing who is in denial about climate change. So today, we were focusing on Senator Johnson's office, who has been one of the leading voices of the uh, climate change deniers in Congress. And actually, we can look to our brothers and sisters in the Native American community, in the Indian community who have taught us so much over the years about how we should be living with the earth. My name is Archie Goni. I'm a member of the Manawi Nation. And I'm here to support all my brothers and sisters. And I need everybody else to pay attention because global warming has been here for a long time. And you need to listen up and do what you can, because that's what we're doing. We're taking a stand to let other people know that this is real and it's coming down. So we're doing this for your future generation and my future generation. And we need to do something about it now, not tomorrow. I'm Bob Melcher, and I am part of St. Mary's Parish in Hales Corners. And uh, I just wanted to say, as Pope Francis said so well and Ladate say, climate is our common home, and we need to take better care of it. Hi, I'm Lynn Milner. I'm here because I'm concerned about the climate. I'm concerned about people. Well, the people are affected by the climate changes, the people who can't afford to um, live this way. And it's unconscionable that our leaders only represent people with money. My sign is telling Ron Johnson that if we don't act soon, it's not going to make any difference what we do. Time is of the essence. Hi, I'm Zanaya, and I'm from um, Milwaukee, and I go to La Escola Fratney. It's a bilingual school. The message that I want to give to Milwaukee is that today we have a lot of pollution in the air and we want to make the world a better place. We think it's bad over here, but in some places, like, they always have these on because it's always so cool in the air. And, and on here, there are a bunch of different companies. Like, Visa, Nike, Coca-Cola, Walmart, McDonald's, Apple, Verizon, ABC. Pepsi, all of that, and the more these companies do stuff to our um, society, the more the climate is changing in the opposite direction we want it to go in, and with us being gathered here today, it's kind of like spreading a message that no matter how old you are, like if you're old, or if you're like my age, government to make sure that we have a brighter future for our kids. A corporation and one has no soul. They don't get sick, no, don't grow. They're only one on the top of gold. Their government has been sold. Citizens United and Hobby Lobby will fight for their humanity. All against you and me and our government has been sold. Unless we amend our constitution, the environment sees pollution. Elections are prostitution, but there's a surefire solution. 
The corporation no has no soul, it don't get sick, nor don't grow old, it only wants all the gold that the government has been sold. or even less the intense fear that that love creates when you're bringing a child into a world on the brink of climate disaster. It hit me only after Robin was born that she also will want to have children, but there is no time in the future when I can stop worrying about the safety of my great grandkids. At times the fear is so strong I honestly question whether we made a mistake starting a family at all. But this love and fear are also motivating. It roots us inescapably into the health of the planet. My husband's and mine own happiness now depends on us contributing to the climate movement. That our kids will have clean air and water, and even more motivating, a beautiful, healthy, happy planet to call home. Ron Johnson, you say you're a numbers guy, but the mass of scientific evidence isn't convincing you. If all we love most has any risk of being lost, why risk it? You're rolling the dice with our future. There's nothing to lose in converting the fossil fuel industry, but everything to lose in waiting too long. We need clean energy and the jobs that come with it. If our children are to have their right to clean air and water, to life and a future. You know the organization, the great organization 350.org, that's based on climate scientist James Hansen's estimate that we have to stabilize the amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere at 350 parts per million. Of course, we just went through 400 parts per million. That's one scary number. Uh, this year will be the hottest year on record. There's no question about it. As was last year. Last year was the hottest year on record. The month of July, this past July, was the hottest month ever recorded. Now the weather records, the climate records, go back 150 years, 1,627 months altogether. July was the hottest of all of those. The evidence is overwhelming. The one number that is the scariest of all is the one that we don't know. And that's when the tipping point will be passed so that it'll be too late to do anything about the Earth's changing climate. And all of the habitats on the planet are already being stressed by climate change. We can't gamble with the future of life on this planet. Right. What, what's needed is public policy action at every level. If we, if our country, if our world, does not turn climate change around. Life as we know it will no longer be like this. This diet is a harbinger of what the future might bring. This diet is a harbinger of what the future might bring. Say, wake up, Milwaukee. We say, wake up, Wisconsin. We say, wake up, Senator Johnson. But it's all rise. System change. Keep the oil under the soil. Keep the gas under the grass. Keep the coal in the hole. System change. Not climate change. Save our earth. Send the message, Senator Johnson, climate change is real. Climate change is real.